Brazil, land of gorgeous beaches, the sexy rhythms of samba, carnival, football, and of course, the wild, glorious Amazon. Uh, these days, the Amazon looks more like this. The Amazon is under assault. The Amazon forests are burning at a record-breaking pace. No more tree canopy. In recent years, the problem has been getting much worse. But on October 30th, Brazilians go to the polls. Now you may be thinking, another foreign election? I've got other things to worry about. But listen up. This is Chai Surui. She sued her own government to make it act on climate change. And she can explain why this election is your problem too. Because one candidate wants to save the Amazon, and the other wants to kill it. The biggest forest tropical of the world is my house. But the result of these elections threatens not only all of this, but all of this. Which means the most important day for planet Earth and your survival is October 30th. While we're up here, let's talk about size and why size matters. This rainforest is so vast, 10 times the size of France, and the whole thing is on track to becoming a dead zone. And if that doesn't freak you out, then get this. One fifth of all fresh water is in the Amazon, and America's farms are irrigated by rain, which comes from, yep, the Amazon. It has 390 billion trees, almost twice as many as the United States. Cut them down, and billions of tons of CO2 hit the atmosphere. Basically, we're all cooked. Sim, você também precisa da Amazônia para sobreviver. Em breve, seu destino será decidido por um desses homens. Great news, both candidates are insanely flawed, but there's no need to guess where they stand on this issue. This one is President Jair Bolsonaro. O meio ambiente pode e vai casar com o desenvolvimento. Enquanto eu for presidente, o desenvolvimento estará acima de tudo. He's one of those leaders who does what he says. Não vou admitir mais Ibama, sair montando a torta direito por aí, bem como em semibio, essa, essa festa vai acabar. Brazil's agribusiness elites love him for it. They've made billions as he turned the forest into farmland. Now, Brazil actually has an impressive satellite system that pings real-time alerts to authorities as trees are cut down. But there's a big catch. 98% of alerts are never investigated because Bolsonaro gutted the agency that fights environmental crime. And if Bolsonaro is elected again, Here's a taste of what's to come. PL2633. I know, it sounds like yet another harmless legislative bill in a faraway country. But it may be the least known, most planet-destroying bill in the world right now. So let's just call it what it really is. The reward the criminals, screw the Amazon, and may the earth roast in hell law. The law would give illegally deforested land to the criminals who stole it. Now you may say the land has already been stolen and deforested. Move on. But this bill isn't just a pardon for past crimes, it's a hall pass to commit new ones. Enter Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva. He was president in the early 2000s. His government made an aggressive plan to save the rainforest. They created new conservation areas that were bigger than the entire UK, levied billions in environmental fines, and invented that novel satellite system that Bolsonaro has been ignoring. Some people dared to think Amazon deforestation might soon be over. O menor do menor desmatamento de toda a história, nunca antes na história do monitoramento do desmatamento da Amazônia, não é isso, Gilberto? Nós tivemos um número tão fantástico. But were they wrong? First came a terrible recession, then a corruption scandal. It sent Lula to jail for a couple of years. Meanwhile, deforestation started creeping up and up. Then this happened. Bolsonaro! <laughs> In 
Indigenous lands stolen. Activists murdered by criminal loggers and ranchers. Last year, 18 trees were cut down every second. And an area of forest bigger than Northern Ireland lost forever. But if Brazilians choose to destroy the basis for life on Earth, isn't it a sovereign country? Well, that's what Bolsonaro argues, and he's wildly popular because of it. It might even help him win this election. But he's ignoring millions of Brazilians who are terrified of his deadly onslaught on the Amazon. The earth is speaking. She tells us that we have no more time. When I denunciei seus crimes na frente dos líderes mundiais, ele me atacou. Levaram uma Índia para lá para atacar o Brasil. Alguém? Ninguém critica o país. Alguém viu o americano criticando aí o as queimadas lá no estado de Califórnia? É só aqui, bro. Bolsonaro, eu nunca critiquei o Brasil. Eu critiquei você. E eu não estou sozinha. These Brazilians are putting everything on the line to save the forest that human civilization literally depends on. And all of us desperately need a new Brazilian president who won't burn it down.